Oh my goodness, this is live. Okay, I see the biggest spider I have ever seen in my life and I'm not joking. I was gonna do an intro from back here and there is a massive spider. Please, Lord help us. Lord help me smite this spider. Oh my goodness, it's so big. Die. Okay, so we're going to be talking about the Enneagram and personality tests today and kind of a Christian perspective on them and how we can, uh, if we are going to use them, how we can use them wisely and keep them in check and just how these things play into our identity and just boxes and labels and all that stuff. We're going to talk about that. Um, but first, in order for me to really speak into these things, I should probably do it um, in regard to the Enneagram. So I'm going to do the Enneagram test, find out what I am in regard to this thing, and then we can talk about it. So let me do that now. Okay, so we're gonna keep going along with this video. I just took the test and it, find, and it found out that I am most similar to type one, two, and three. So I don't get a definitive answer on what kind of type of Enneagram, what my Enneagram number is, which is kind of frustrating, but it does give us a good point. The fact that even a machine like this can't say, you are this type completely, or you are this type completely. These kind of types they put us they put labels on stuff obviously that's what they're for to kind of bring categories together to help us understand a little bit more about our personality now i'm not going to go into the origin of enneagram because i did read something about enneagram and the roots of it weren't super great but i'm just kind of taking it at surface level you are kind of thinking hey enneagram is kind of fun or myers briggs is kind of fun so how are we going to approach these things I, I i'm a big fan of things like this i'm actually surprised that it's taken me this long to do the Enneagram because I love doing Myers-Briggs. I think it's fun when they, you know, pop your thing, little guy pops up and he's like, hey, you're this guy and you do this and you like this. And I'm like, yeah, I do like that. But I'm a fan of those kind of things. But I think we begin to get into a little bit of trouble when we begin to be defined or take our identity as these you know, Enneagram types or what are Myers-Briggs Briggs type. But I guess what I've noticed for myself, you know, for Myers-Briggs, it's like, oh, I'm supposed to be this kind of introvert. Um, then I shouldn't be lonely um, right now. So I'm thinking, oh, well, I, I feel kind of lonely, but I really shouldn't be because I'm kind of like an introvert. So I don't really need to be around people. I'm like an inward processor. I don't need to be around people. And in that situation, I'm kind of conforming myself to um, whatever Myers-Briggs tells me I am or whatever Enneagram tells me I am and people can get really obsessed with these things and maybe you are you know following a bunch of Instagram pages that have your Enneagram number and you're just kind of like oh this is this is great wisdom that they're throwing at me things that I you know kind of define who I am and my identity is this and now there's this kind of camaraderie with a bunch of other people that have this same personality but it's also a good point to understand, look, our personalities are going to evolve and are going to change. Um, humans are a lot more complicated than nine, you know, Enneagram types or however many types Myers-Briggs have. Um, we're a lot more complicated than that. And when we put ourselves in boxes and say, I'm this, I'm that, it can get us into trouble when we begin to say, wait a minute, I'm not kind of like that. I'm a little bit different than that. Or maybe I feel a little bit different. Maybe my personality isn't just constant. The I feel the exact same way or react the same to every situation. There's a lot of complexity in regard to our personality and how we behave and, and how we think and how we process and how we deal with our emotions. So I just want to say if this is any kind of like freeing message for you is if you're kind of holding to Oh, I'm this, this Enneagram type, or I'm this in Myers-Briggs, or whatever uh, personality type, or I'm an introvert, or I'm an extrovert, so I have to act like this, or I have to be like this, or I have to think like this. Just be free from that, because we don't need to keep ourselves in those boxes and hold to those labels just because we want a group that we can identify with. Because when we take these things in as our identity, we're making a crucial mistake as Christians because we know our identity is found in Jesus and his work on the cross and him calling us children of him, children of God. We are made in his image and he says, go out there glorify me and enjoy my creation enjoy me enjoy the other people that god has put around you you know what embrace the personality that you have but understand that it's not 
constant. It's not always going to be the exact same. You can't put yourself in these boxes. And maybe these things can be somewhat helpful to let you, uh, you know, give you a little insight into your thinking. But you know what? It's going to be a long process of you beginning to kind of understand yourself more and more. And I just don't want these things to get in the way of you continue to kind of just find out who you are and, and not tie your identity to any type, whether it be the perfectionist or the achiever or the um, the peacemaker or the challenger or the investigator. Like, it sounds like we're playing Clue. Like, it, it's hilarious. I We just c can't put that much weight in these things. And I know they become lots of, very popular and they're fun. I don't think there's anything innately wrong with like somebody saying, hey, you answered these questions this way. This is the kind of person that you are like you know just don't put too much weight in it i guess is what i'm saying be careful and know that your identity those these things don't define you and your identity is found in christ in who he says you are not in who enneagram says you are that was kind of cheese but that's okay well guys that's the video uh huge shout out to my patrons on patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple you guys are the guys that are really keeping this ministry going and growing so thank you so much for supporting our mission and if you'd like to help support these videos and the content that's going on with daily disciple ministry uh please visit patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple to get access to exclusive monthly videos and um you know exclusive patreon content content with instagram and early access to big videos so check that stuff out and uh, subscribe and like this video if you did uh, we're putting out new videos all the time mondays and thursdays and leave a comment down below about what you thought about today's video personality test enneagram all that stuff and thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time see ya spot's gone it's gone dead 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 rest in peace